What's up, y'all? It's your boy Panfred Nudo with yet another LEGO set review for the Between the Bricks YouTube channel. Thank you to LEGO for sending us this really awesome set for review and to show all of you. And the set that I'm talking about is this one here, the Dark Trooper helmet, a one of the three helmets that is due out on March 1st to add to your Star Wars helmet collection. Here's some information on this Dark Trooper helmet. The set number for this helmet is 75343. It is 693 pieces, again, due out on March 1st, 2022. And the retail price for the set is $59.99 US dollars. And if you're watching this video before March 1st, it is currently available for pre-order uh, on lego.com. And uh, this particular helmet uh, is another adversary or antagonist to add to your collection. And it is a very unique build. And so I'm really excited to show you guys this build. Let's take a closer look. This set here is based on the Dark Trooper scene in Season 2 of The Mandalorian. These Dark Troopers were used by the Empire to do Moff Gideon's will and um, is, is a very ominous and intimidating looking uh, kind of humanoid droid type, uh, type being. And it was just really cool how they captured that in this really detailed Lego set, especially uh, the, <clears throat> the red eyes of the Dark Trooper, which made it as intimidating as it is, contrast to the rest of the black uh, color that the rest of it is and so i was really excited to see that they would add this particular helmet as it's fairly recognizable and it's a cool and unique piece considering um it's not like the rest of the helmets that we've seen in star wars helmets past so let's take a look at some of the build details with this set so here is more looks of the Dark Trooper helmet here. Um, the biggest feature I feel like that really stands out with this set is, of course, these trans red eyes, which are very menacing on this helmet. You can see <clears throat> they stand out really, really well with um, some, I think, I believe it's dark gray or white that is back there to really help the trans red stand out amongst all of the black. That is basically what makes up this entire helmet. There are a couple stickers that are in place here. So this top of his forehead right over here, it's a sticker. These are uh, a couple stickers here. So stick, six stickers here all the way across. Um, and then the two stickers here on the other, on his kind of cheeks. But this that's definitely has a very menacing look to it. So because it is not necessarily human, uh, it does have some very droid-like features that kind of uh, is connected on the, on the neck there. I do believe this is pretty flimsy though, so it's definitely meant for more of a display than anything, but we do get some striking uh, drum lacquer silver kind of chrome pieces here on either end, giving it this just really nice contrast there where the head connects to the neck. Now this is a little wonky as well. I did find this a little weird that uh, although that it's on a hinge, it does rest really nice when it is just placed, but you do have the ability to kind of move this up front which is a little wonky but again when it's on display how it's meant to be um shown then it's okay it does it doesn't move at all when it's sitting in place as well as this piece here as flimsy as it is again because it is an 18 plus set and is more made for display kind of was a little bit more forgiving of that all of the striking smooth features all the way around the head here make this thing very very nice as well all of the exposed studs are obviously at the top kind of mainly how a lot of these helmets are done uh, the build process was pretty interesting kind of starting from 
the dome down almost and then kind of sticking some pieces uh just some final pieces around the sides here using some snot bricks overall it's a very very beautiful piece very unique from the rest of the helmets as um it's not necessarily complete all the way towards the neck but a very beautiful piece to add next to uh, the rest of your helmet collection here from lego So there you have it, folks, a closer look at the Dark Trooper helmet uh, that is available or will be available from Lego uh, to add to your Star Wars helmet collection. All in all, it's a fantastic build, definitely captures the intimidating look of the Dark Trooper. I just absolutely love the red eyes of this thing um, that just really pop out. It's like the first thing you see. Uh, when you first lay eyes on this dark trooper helmet and um, they just capture the angles of the dark trooper pretty well and again because it's not you know the typical shape of a head per se um, they still do that they still do a great job of capturing those angles making it look like a humanoid type droid and uh and again, it, it's it's clear cut that it's an antagonist, a, a bad guy, and it's uh, it's going to look really cool next to the rest of the Star Wars helmets in the collection. If you did like this particular video, make sure to like and subscribe to the Between the Bricks YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever new videos do pop up on the channel. And if you do want to see sets like this being built live on stream you can definitely take uh, a look at the twitch channel my twitch channel twitch.tv slash panfrednudo to see sets like this be built live on stream every tuesday thursday and sunday night uh, pacific time so with that again thank you so much for joining us on this really awesome review video may the force be with you and i have spoken <laughs>